studio now is Gray Robinson, who we brought you in because I think you just sent like a TikTok song out. Yeah. And I was like, dang, you're good. Come on. <laughs> and so now she's here by herself. We've been yes. featuring her on the Women of Our Country. And congratulations on all your recent success. Yes, thank you. Did you run into my wife somewhere? Yes, I ran into her at Zara. At the mall. <laughs> Many months ago when we talked for a second. She said. She's so sweet. She said, um. A woman or a girl or uh, probably woman. She doesn't call people girls. Came a, a young, I don't know, something came up to me and she was so nice. Aww. And I just kind of assumed it was you. Yeah. She, she said she had played on your show before. Oh yeah. And so we and then for a sec. someone said you saw me in public somewhere and wouldn't come up. I saw you at um, Oku. A, a and restaurant. You, yes, and you were with uh, your wife and Brett Eldridge. And I felt so rude. I was like, I don't want to come up and just interrupt his dinner. So I didn't say hey. But then I emailed Scuba Steve. That's so. how you said hey? You emailed <laughs> so Scuba? Like, just let him know that I say hi. <laughs> so were you sitting near us? Yeah, it was, yeah. And you didn't even go, no, like, where I just, But I also, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> well, but here we okay. are now, so it's If fine. we know each other, you sh you have I know. permission I know. to be like, hey, Bobby, how's it going? I know, I should have. But it was like a small little dinner, and I was like, I Well, we, we were just having dinner. I don't I think mean, it you was. You never know. <laughs> okay. It's probably Brett that intimidated her. It wasn't even us. <laughs> Well, how you been? Everything good? I've been great, yeah. You, are you playing much? You, yeah, I've been. Well, that's kind of the next step is um, looking for some shows to play. But I'm, I'm married now. Remember, I was engaged and I was planning my wedding and I was leaving right after the show last year. And how did that go? It went so good. What was the wedding like? It was the best day of my life. Besides what? being on the show, that was second best, but the wedding was definitely first. Where did you get married? Uh, the Greenbrier in uh, West Virginia. So, and is he from West Virginia or are you? No, we're both from North Carolina. And so why West Virginia? Um, it, it was just meant a lot to us. I've kind of been going there for my life and yeah. Did so. you do your own vows or we did, did. Yeah, we that's cool because you, you're a so writer. Emotional. Yes. It did was, you cry? Oh my gosh. Yes. I like cried so too. much the whole day. <laughs> I cried more than my wife cried <laughs> when doing mine. You know, actually I think my husband did too. Well, especially when we were up there, but before I was like a mess. But. Was he embarrassed that he cried afterward? No, I think he like couldn't even control it. I think he was just like, it is what it is. I couldn't control it either, but we watched it back. We watched our vows back one time. I was so embarrassed. I was like, I am so lame. Oh like I wrote this and I practiced it and I couldn't even do it without crying. Aww. And you look behind me and Eddie was my best man. And you see Eddie going <laughs> and crying too. <laughs> couldn't help it. And I was like, we're going to come on babbling babies over here. That's so sweet. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Did you guys have a honeymoon? We did. Um, we had like a part two because of COVID. So we ended up doing our honeymoon a few months ago in the Bahamas. So that was fun. Okay. Well, congratulations yes. on the wedding. And then I hear too that you signed your first publishing deal right after I you'd did. come on the show. Yes. Um, I signed with 50 Egg Music with Luke Combs and Jonathan Singleton. And it's been a dream. And so, yeah. So you new. are now getting paid to write songs. I am. It's Isn't insane. that like the greatest thing? It really is. How did that come about? Well, I think from the show, like that just created a lot of buzz. And I was doing this thing for a while. And um, I mean, honestly, once you were like, you were like, who is this girl that he put on the show? I think it kind of started that for me. And then um, I just met with a bunch of people, but I just felt like 50 Egg was my home. And that's where I ended up. Did so. you quit another job that you were? No. So I just graduated college. I went to Belmont. So I graduated in 2020. And this was like all right after I got, I was on your show like two months after I graduated. Wait, how long ago do we have her on? This was like, was it March? I think of 2021. That, yeah. that wow. long ago? Yeah. yeah but, what is yeah. happening with time? I thought it was like yeah. three weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. No. Uh, her name is Gray Robinson. I want to play a little clip of her new single. This is called Ruin Tennessee. You can't ruin Tennessee for me Not the Chattanooga Hills or the Nashville streets You can go But you're going to play something different for us, I hear. I am. Okay, what are you going to play? I'm going to play my newest single that I released two weeks ago called Fireworks. Wait, so you got a new single and a newest yes, single? I'm okay, doing... I'm confused. <laughs> I think then you should say new if it's the latest. So I'm doing singles a month. So did it that Ruin Tennessee was June, Fireworks, July, and then I have a song coming next month too. So this will be the newest single. This is the newest single. Called Fireworks. Yes. Okay, here she is. She's just graduated college a couple years ago. Yeah, She's got a publishing deal. <laughs> She's all over TikTok. And you know what? She watches me at dinner. <laughs> Let's just say it. It doesn't say hello. <laughs> All right, here she is, Gray Robinson. Awesome. Spend every second with them late last summer. Ten dollar dates and pussy free sunburns. Fourth of July, looking up at the skies when I knew. 
He said he couldn't wait to show me Colorado Told me in August that we'd take a Silverado And he knew a place we could stop halfway driving through There were sparks flying but it took it too far Knew better but it trusted my heart Got too close and then I got burned Cause that's how fireworks Wish I could have seen the red flags in time But I let myself write a love story in my mind Should have known I would just get hurt Cause that's how fireworks Mom always told me that love makes you dumb And you can't talk somebody into being the one She told me first, but I still had to learn it the hard way There were sparks flying, but it took it too far Knew better, but it trusted my heart Got too close, and then I got burned Cause that's how fireworks Wish I could have seen the red flags in time But I let myself write a love story in my mind Should have known I would just get hurt Cause that's how fireworks mm -hmm. That's how fireworks mm -hmm. Dancing with hymns like my hand on a stove Chasing the flame only leaves you with smoke It leaves a mark Even after it goes out There were sparks flying but it took it too far No better but it trusted my heart Oh and I got burned Oh I wish I could have seen the rain Legs in time, but I let myself write a love story in my mind. Should have known I would just get hurt. And knowing he's fine only makes it worse. But that's how fireworks. That's how fireworks. That's how fireworks. Ray Robinson yeah. live. Thank you. Nice job. You got us to fireworks. I'm thinking we're going to hear a song about sparks and love <laughs> and fireworks happen. And then all of a sudden you switch it on switch us. It. And you go, that's how fire works. Yes. Dang, got me again. <laughs> I was led down the path and thrown a curveball. That song, because you wrote that, but that song, is uh, I assume it's not about your new husband? It's not. No. It's funny because people will ask me, they'll be like, why do you, because my both, both songs that I just released are about I guess breakups and they're like why are you releasing songs if you're happily married and I feel like I'm just like a writer at first and I like creating these stories and I've been there but I'm just I love the songs and I'm putting them out and so yeah so that's a story that you created wink wink hey yeah, yeah for sure it didn't happen about another guy <laughs> I yeah, mean, yeah. I caught my fair share but yeah, yes it's yeah, not yeah. like specific about something yeah so we met Gray on TikTok again that's she just sent a video and I was like hey come up and now you've like uh you're TikTok's doing really well, huh? Yes. Are you spending a lot of time on TikTok, like writing songs, putting songs out there? Or um, now that you're a paid <laughs> singer, songwriter, you're yeah. doing more of that? I mean, TikTok, I'm doing like here and there. Um, I feel like it's not as much. Like, I feel like when you were, when you put me on the show, it was huge. Like, TikTok, because of COVID and everything, it was such a thing. But I'm doing a little bit. I feel like reels are kind of the thing maybe now on Instagram. But um, I'm doing You must doing be getting that. paid for reels like the rest of the you show. You get paid? Isn't that crazy? Yeah. <laughs> I don't, but they all are like shooting Wait, reels of everything. It's awesome. It's they're great. like doing documentaries of going to the bathroom. And they're like, let me post. <laughs> This. No, really? Yeah, it's crazy. Are you getting paid? I do. Have you made any money? I mean, a couple hundred. For for like how many reels though? I literally have probably five. Morgan made like thousands, like three thousand, four thousand dollars. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's crazy. And yeah. Eddie won't tell us how much he's making. Oh, it's too much. I think I... he's hiding the money from the government. You but know what if I think? You, <laughs> if you post the video that has the TikTok symbol, they won't like pay you or, or uh, push your stuff apparently yeah of course yeah you should so they're like making you all everything through instagram now because they're trying to you know be like tiktok well that's how fireworks <laughs> Ooh. well great nice job yes thank you i cannot wait to watch you continue to build on this and 
all your writing, and I think this is going to be the second of many appearances here. Oh, thank you so, so much. So congratulations. Thank, thank you for you. coming in. It was yes. a great performance. Yes, thank you. And next time you see me at dinner. I will say hi. As long as my mouth's not full, <laughs> you can just go, hey, Bobby, how's it going? I will. I will. Yeah, that's all it takes. Well, now this is even better. So I got to like hang out with all of you guys. But yes, I'll do that <laughs> next time. <laughs> Follow her on Instagram or TikTok, The Gray Robinson, G-R-A-Y, The Gray Robinson. There she is. Gray Robinson, yeah. everybody. Nice thank shot. Thank you. <laughs>